This is Copper 90 in collaboration with Mundial, and these are our top 10 kits of the 2017-18 season. At 10 is AEK Athens' third shirt. You'll often hear people say, Athens is the cradle of Western civilization. And maybe it is, but it's also the cradle of the most gothic football shirt since Bob Bradley dunked Swansea's home kit in tar, covered it in the shaved fur from Gilfie Sigurdsson's precious pet rabbit Ronald, and yelled, Go hard on the defense! Nike and AEK Athens have done a good one here. A jet black third shirt with the iconic double-headed eagle stitched on the chest. At nine is Wiccan Wanderer's goalie shirt. New looks very bad, a very psychedelic summer wardrobe meets the imaginary pattern on your dad's bedroom ceiling when he still believed in world peace in 1967 for the new Wiccan Wanderer's goalie shirt. This is what Friday nights look like for young thug after he's listened to Yellow Submarine on repeat for three days while slurping down enough cough medicine to cure a T-Rex with tonsillitis. This looks like fun. Ajax's away shirt is at eight. Ajax's new away kit is a sky of dreams, a sky of opportunity, a sky of total football, a sky of Kreuz, Kleivert, Stolbergs, a sky of pass, move, pass, move, pass, move, pass, move, pass, move, pass, goal. A sky of culture, a sky of class, a sky of Amsterdam. A sky of a megabus journey, canals, smoke, hostels and a weird ferry home across the channel with a guy who keeps giving you coins to play Tekken and swears he's called Trevor but has a name badge that says Bruce. In at seven is Hummel's new home shirt for Charlton. You can provide Hummel with an extra small Primark v-neck t-shirt and then whack a strip of chevrons down either side, change the colour slightly and make it look like something you could wear for an initially sceptical first date. It's simple, red, has a Charlton sword embossed on the bottom half and looks ripe for a swashbuckling League One campaign. At six, Shimizu Pulse's 25th anniversary shirt is a lesson in global warming. You see Oceana down there, on fire. Oh, there's the Atlantic, also on fire. The Antarctic, yeah, completed it, it's on fire too. This is a lesson in saving the planet, a lesson in how football can educate, a lesson in remembering that our consumption is contributing to irreparable global warming. The world is on fire and Shimizu Pulse are here to show you what it looks like whilst they stuff four goals past you before half-time. Lecoq Sportif's four away shirts for Fiorentina are making waves at five. Florence's Calcio Storico is a sport at the roots of football. A load of blokes from specific areas of a town running after a ball and beating the shit out of each other as frequently as possible. It's loads more fun than a five-a-side on a pitch the size of your front garden against a team of city bankers from Hertfordshire. To acknowledge this history, Fiorentina brought out four beautiful away kits to represent each team involved in Calcio Storico and got your local darts team to model them for you. And if you want to see a little bit more of it, we made a video on it about three weeks ago. Check out our feed. All green and nice is Juve's new third kit at four. Juventus went wild in January and invited Emily Ratajkowski to a party in Milan whilst revealing their new J logo. It's all gone very lifestyle over in Turin and this craft green kit produced by Adidas and designed by a real life Juventus fan is a glorious lesson in Italian simplicity and also a glorious lesson in what happens if you invite supermodels to parties. Good things happen when you invite supermodels to parties. Try it. At three is Adidas's gear for Orlando Pirates. Hello, hello, hi, hi, uh, Orlando Pirates, this is Adidas. So we've been thinking about designs for your kits for next year. How do you feel about a super clean, stylish set of shirts in really simple black and white? They'll look like shirts you want to wear all the time, not just to play or watch football. You know, just nice clothes really. All right, you like the idea? Cool, can we do a bucket hat with skull and crossbones on too? Yeah, great, we'll send them over now. Thanks, Orlando Pirates, bye. At two is the Nagoya Grampus 8 25th anniversary Mizuno goalie shirt. And we don't need to say much more than that. Just look at it and feel at peace. And winning the Copper 90 Mondial 2017 shirt off is Kappa's home shirt for Torino. Admit it, you loved Kappa since your mum wouldn't let you buy a pair of tracksuit bottoms with poppers on. And you saw that girl in the year above wearing a pair of them. Oh, how things could have been. Trading polyphonic ringtones through Bluetooth on the back of the bus whilst doodling in the condensation on windows. But Kappa are here to show you that life goes on, especially when Torino play at home in the 17-18 season. That was Copper 90s and Mundial's top 10 shirts of the 2017-18 season. If you've seen any nice ones, chuck us a comment below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Copper 90.